Fellow auto detailers, welcome to the show that features interviews with today's most successful auto detailers. This is the Auto Detailing Podcast. Here's your host, Jimbo Balaam. Hey, what's up, everyone, and welcome to this episode of the Auto Detailing Podcast. I'm Jimbo, your host, and thanks for checking out this episode. This episode is brought to you by autofiber.com, autofiber.com. CA and autofiber.com.au. So whether you're in Canada, the US or Australia, you can check out all the goodies that Autofiber has to offer if you go to those websites. Also brought to you by the detailer innercircle.com. You know, I get asked a lot, how where do I start in my detailing business? How do I grow it? How do I get clients? All all these things, right? Or how do I how do I build an asset that one day I can sell my business as an asset, not just the equipment that I use. And we have tons of modules. We have ongoing Q&A calls, marketing tips. We stay abreast with the latest and greatest in the marketing space. And I partnered up with a buddy of mine named Pete, who's a marketing expert. I tailor everything towards the detailers and kind of have the detailing side of everything handled. But if you're even remotely interested in any of the things I just said, I encourage you to check out detailerinnercircle.com. So today on the show, what we're going to be talking about is, is there a place for black waxes or white waxes or colored waxes? And I've always held the opinion that, you know what, there's base coat, color coat, clear coat, right? Or color coat and clear coat. Every car has clear coat on top of it. There's really no reason for a black wax or a white wax um, because all cars have clear coat, right? But I've recently kind of changed my stance on that, and I kind of want to talk to you today and kind of bring this to light as well, because maybe you're in the same opinion as as that I was, is that there's really no reason to carry around a black wax or even recommend a black wax, or maybe if you're a prosumer, pick up a black wax. There's really no reason for it because your car has clear coat on it, right? But I want to test or I want to bring a couple things that I found out in testing a few or a handful of these black waxes out on the market. And what I found and I think is the key thing, the key differentiator for that. And here's the deal. Do you really need black waxes? If you want the the three minute version, the, the Cliff Notes version, not really, but dot, dot, dot is really what I want to say. And here's what I found out with these black waxes. And I'm using black waxes because I really haven't played with white waxes. And we all know that black cars are the biggest nightmare to maintain and have look flawless or nice or kind of lock in that flawlessness, if that's even a word, uh, once you've corrected it, right? Even with the coating on your car. And what I found out is that there actually are a few waxes that are black waxes that have either colored dye in it or they have micro abrasives in the spray um, that that as you wipe it in kind of help eliminate some of those scratches and swirls and stuff like that. So though they're geared towards black cars and they call them black waxes and or black detail sprays and all that, there actually are some hidden benefits that I was not aware of. And that's kind of why I'm doing this podcast. I was not aware of these features of that. <clears throat> and I, I just straight up thought it was a marketing play, which let's be honest, it probably is. However, even when it's a marketing play, uh, you do have to think about it in the mind of the consumer that may be going down to the auto zone or the auto auto uh, supply store. <clears throat> if they have a black car, they don't know what wax to get, right? And, and you look at that... Um, you look at the shelves and kind of the sea of the products that they offer at the auto parts store. And if you're a consumer who's not like you, who's probably listening to this podcast, you don't have this vast array of knowledge at your disposal that you can kind of filter through all these products on the shelf. So you're going for what is easiest and, and, or not necessarily what's easiest, but what is going to hit your need the most. And if you have a black car, chances are, if there's a product that is quote unquote, black wax or geared towards black cars, you're going to go for that over, say, even Turtle Wax Seal and Shine, 
right? You're, you're going to go for a product that is geared towards black because that's what you have. That's what your pain point is. That's what your need is. So these companies have done a good job. And I think us as detailers can really um, glean some insight from the marketing that these bigger companies offer, whether that's Meguiar's, Mother's, Turtle Wax, Armor All, whatever. Um, because as I've said time and time and time again, it's not necessarily the best detailer that wins. It's the best marketer that wins. And the same rings true for these products on the shelf, whether that is an AutoZone, Walmart, whatever, or your local detail supply store. And we've seen it with companies like Chemical Guys, right? Not necessarily the best products in the world, but they do a phenomenal job marketing their products. And therefore, they have you know, an insane following and have done very good for themselves. Also, you know, Ammo NYC, not the best products in the world, but when you have a YouTube following and you're able to market your products and yourself that well, it makes up for the gap in what your products make. So that long tangent to say, I've actually found a place for black spray waxes uh, in my arsenal. And more specifically, the Turtle Wax, well, I know, maybe surprise, maybe no surprise, the Turtle Wax Ice, no, the Turtle Wax Jet Black. So I tried the Turtle Wax, the Turtle Wax Ice Black Spray Wax, which is the one that apparently has some small abrasives in it. You can't feel them. It's not going to jack your car up if it's not uh, super bad, but it's meant to fill. And that is what I'm finding out is the biggest asset to these colored waxes. And I would say, you know, use them on even all dark color cars or maybe all color, all colored cars in general. And where they may really be an asset to you is on those maintenance clients. Because when you, you I've been a huge fan of products that fill in the right circumstances. So again, a maintenance client that um, either uh, it, it can't or either a maintenance client or a person on a budget that just wants their car to be really shiny. And we've all heard the quote, like a customer just wants shiny paint, shiny tires and clear glass, which is if you're going after a market, that's the biggest possible market you can go after, right? Someone just like that. Um, however, so I think maintenance clients, people on a budget where you can give them, yes, it's an artificial shine and an artificial um, look similar to what made glazes so popular. Um, and the caveat is, is that you're not over promising, right? So you're not saying that that car is going to stay like that forever. You're, you're informing your client of what you're trying to do or what you're doing, right? Based upon their budget, age of the car, whatever the circumstance is. And that's what makes some of these questions really <clears throat> difficult to answer is that the circumstances surrounding each and every car are so vastly different. Enter in the client even, and that's a whole nother world, right? Point being is that I've really found a cool arena for these black waxes in the maintenance category for clients, uh, people on a budget, where you can over deliver for what they're actually looking for. You're not over promising on what you're delivering, but you're over promising on what they're looking for because you're giving them that that temporary really high shine. So think of someone uh, going to a car show, but maybe doesn't have a budget for uh, a full paint correction and coating. Uh, black waxes may be a good fit, even if the car is charcoal or dark blue or whatever. And that's kind of where I skew back to, to not really believing the quote unquote black wax part uh, because there is clear coat on the car, right? However, I wanted to bring it to everyone's attention that there may be a uh, a, uh, a place in your arsenal for these. And at least with the Turtle Wax one, I don't think the Meguiar's that I tried was and the Fuso Coat Black Wax that I tried, which is incredibly durable, by the way. If you're a fan of paste waxes or have the time to do that or apply one, the Fuso Coat Soft 99 rivals Turtle Wax Seal and Shine in the durability department. Definitely not in the application department, but the or the price. But in the durability department, if you're looking for a black wax, a black paste wax that has incredible durability and may have to be uh, the only way it can come off is some abrasion. Definitely look at that Fuso coat. Of course, all these products, the Turtle Wax. So I like the Turtle Wax Jet Black 
over the Turtle Wax Ice Black Wax. So they look very similar. I'm not sure what the differences are. Uh, the Ice Black Wax is supposed to is supposed to be the one with the, the abrasives in it, slight abrasives. But I actually found that Jet Black fills and works a little bit better, in my opinion, in my preference, whatever. It's just my opinion. Uh, so however, I'm... On my YouTube channel, I'm going through these kind of consumer grade products and finding out that they're actually really good or there's a lot of them that are really good. And so when I stumbled across these black waxes, I did question myself of like, wait a second, is there actually a place for these in the professional realm? Is there a, a, cause we never, and the filling capabilities are probably the number one feature that I like about it. Now with the turtle wax being a tinted, color, so black, it tends to not really dye your towel, but some rem remnants will stay in your towel. And I haven't really tried it on white cars or light color cars. Uh, so either obviously try it out yourself or just don't use it on white color cars. But the filling capabilities of those products and the Fuso coat doesn't fill, so that's just strictly for protection. Um, if you choose to use the Turtle Wax Ice Black Spray Wax, because it has a little bit of abrasives in it, it will wear down any wax or sealant that's underneath it. So I would apply that first and then apply your protection over it. But the filling capabilities and the I would say the most under uh, one of the most underrated attributes of a uh, of any product in the detailing industry is the filling capabilities of a spray wax. I think every single spray wax should have filling capabilities just based on the use the use case that you're going to be using that for. It's not a compound, it's not it's a spray and wipe. So it's meant for Qu uh, to add quick protection, right? So the fact that really the only product in the detailing space that fills and hides stuff is a glaze is kind of crazy to me because of the application method in it. And these spray waxes, though they add, they can add a lot of protection if you're if you're looking at like the Turtle Wax Ice Line, uh, or virtually no protection if you're looking at some of these internet brands that claim to have coatings that are really just cheap spray waxes for obscene amounts of money. Um, so really the, the durability of a spray wax isn't necessarily ideal. I think, or sorry, the durability of a spray and wipe product isn't on the forefront though. When you get it like seal and shine or ice spray wax, it's phenomenal. And it's an added bonus. I would actually like to see more spray waxes that fill the panel, make the car look insanely good, right? Without the streaking, without the, you know, still keeping the easy use and all that, but fill the panel and add a glaze like look to the car without actually having to apply a glaze. Does that make sense? So I think the black wax is the hidden gem for just that. And easy to use, fills the panel, makes the car look extremely well, doesn't last a whole long time. But again, maintenance clients, people who um, are are uh, on a budget, you can spray and wipe and then add a layer of protection on top of it, which is a great method to do. All that to be said, I wanted to bring this to your attention because you as a professional detailer may be able to use it to your advantage if you're mainly doing maintenance clients, if you're dealing with uh, customers that are cheap whatever. I would at least encourage you to go out, pick up a bottle of a few different black waxes, and then play with them on your car, on a test panel, on your client's cars, and see what I'm talking about with this filling ability and how that could be ideal in the right circumstances. I'm not saying all the time. I'm not saying to put a coating over it. I'm just saying in the right circumstances, it could be a very, very valuable tool in your toolbox. So, with that, guys, short and sweet this week. Next week on the Auto Detailing Podcast, I'm actually heading over to Claude Harris's new shop. I'm super, super excited. We've had Claude on. We call him the OG detailer. We've had him on a, a slew of times over the years. Um, 
and he's it's awesome because he's talked about it on the show before how he wants to have a shop he wants to have a coding studio and he finally got one so he's local to me i'm heading over this week to uh, hang out with him and what we're going to do an interview we're going to talk about the shop we're going to talk about all that fun stuff and so check out that episode coming up next week and with that detailer inner circle housecallpro.com slash adp auto fiber all the things you guys are getting a ton of value out of all those and it really plays to what i like in creating win-win-win situations so um, all the sponsors that i bring onto the show not only do i vet and actually use uh, but i've also now gotten enough feedback from all you that you actually get value out of them too so i don't feel so i don't feel like a brand whore pumping out uh sponsors like that but it's it's a win 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 so all right guys with that i will catch you on the next episode if you want more content from me you can head over to youtube.com slash j balam or autodetailingpodcast.com slash youtube if that's easier it'll just redirect you over there and i will catch you guys on the next episode see ya